Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly grind. So, okay, a higher view. Oops. Okay. A higher view, meaning some of you might also be going through an ascension or an increase when it comes to your spirituality. All right. So, let's take a look. Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, and there are two options that are being offered to you. So in the past, there was like three things that you've already lost, okay? Or three things that you've already wasted, okay? More of an opportunity. And now there are two things that are being offered to you. One is actually love, and one is also finances or opportunity. Now, Leo, the thing here is, right now, this is not really the right time to announce or to broadcast, okay, to everyone, even to your friends or family, sisters, siblings, relatives, whatever, because, you know, most likely that they're just going to be very negative to your news. They don't want to see you happy, and they want you to feel stuck. And the fool and the nine of wands. Just go on wherever you know you life, the universe, or your guys are leading you. Just go ahead with it. Be quiet. Do not say anything. Also, be a little bit secretive when it comes to finances. Because I can see that your finances are going to be going up. Okay, ten of cups and the lovers. Yeah. Some of you might actually get involved. Okay, let's say, for example, that you're already married or already with someone. There is a possibility of you getting involved with another person, so be very careful. Okay. So, the Seven of Pentacles, you're busy building your life or building your foundation right now. You also want to set some new perspective for you. It's like, oh, I don't want to repeat my past. My 2023 has been so bad. I don't want to repeat it again. You know, I, right now, 2024, I want to rebuild something different and bigger and sturdier. Um, some of you, okay, if you've been estranged from your... Probably your children, your child, there will be some reunion, or it seems like you're going to be spending a lot more time with them. Your ex will be a little bit more open-minded, okay, rather than being so um, emotionally stingy. Um, some of you might also be reunited with somebody from the past, which is your soulmate, probably dealing with a Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer, Leo, another Leo. All right. I'm seeing that this person will be rushing towards you. All right. Four of Pentacles. You've been keeping your feelings hidden for somebody. Yeah. You've been trying to get over and cut off some emotions that you have for for someone because you feel like it's not really going anywhere you're being logical at the moment there is something you just can't simply whisk off it's like You're trying to make sense of an emotion, connection, or feeling. And you've been like, 
you know, like trying to come up with an answer like, you know, let's say for example, okay, that you're so in love with someone and then you feel like, I don't even know this person that much. Why do I have this strong connection with somebody that, that I haven't even met? Now you're trying to be like, oh, maybe I'm just like in love with the idea or in love with the person in my head. Because most of the time it's like that. Especially if you just met someone online or if you just, you know, I mean, if you just talk to somebody and then all of a sudden you feel like, because, you know, for me, sometimes I also try to make sense of something like, I haven't even met you, like, I don't know you. So how can you fall in love or how can you say, I love you to someone that you haven't even met? So sometimes it's actually the spiritual connection. It's not the actual connection that makes you fall for that person or that makes you have feelings for someone. So... Either you or someone is watching you like a hawk, you know, like, you feel like, okay, what is so good about you, or what do you have, or what is it with you that I just can't really, like, whisk off, or I just can't really brush off, and I have to deal with this, you know, stupid feeling. <laughs> Someone is very caught up and dry. Someone is like, they're very methodical, they're very logical. It's like somebody have to always come up with a scientific explanation about the littlest thing in the universe or being or whatever. But I'm telling you sometimes, especially love, you can't make sense of it. It's stupid, it's mysterious. Um, it's, a, it's, it's an unfathomable, but you know, it's a feeling that you just need to enjoy unless that it's already becoming a burden. And that is what exactly this person is starting to feel. That at first, you know, that feeling, that kind of feeling is something that kind of like amazed them until it's starting to become more of a burden because if you like I don't want this love I don't want this feeling why am I feeling this and then you've been trying to divert your attention by being with one person to another to another to another and you just keep on creating this series of breakups with other people and right before you know it you're already creating a pile of heartbreaks and bitter people towards you uh you need to face this once and for all it's time for a change probably you need to let go release it to the wind okay whatever your inhibitions are i feel like it's time for you to go and talk to this person you're being coached and you're being influenced by the wrong kind of people for somebody who has a lot of prejudice and has a lot of um, inhibitions, trust issues, and too judgmental, you easily listen to other people. You have to practice your own sense of discernment, okay? Walk away from other influences. Listen to your own intuition. All right? I feel like it's time for you to go and talk to this person. It's time to put an end to this silence, whatever this is. I think this could only be a friendship. I don't feel like it's something romantic. Although it might lead into that, but it's up to you, all right? You could also be dealing with someone who is very well financially established or someone is very conscious about financial security. Could be dealing with a Virgo as well. So, and I got the king of pentacles as well so both of you actually came out as the couples all right you're gonna be creating magic together don't doubt it 
Anyway, if you want to talk to me, let me know. Let me know. Just go and visit me at my website, sophiaclairvoy.com. Bless you.